Hello, I'm Agape Risaki and I'm here presenting our work on solving inverse problems for spectral energy distributions with deep generative networks. This is a work with, we did with my PhD advisor Dimitris Fotakis uh, from National Technical University of Athens, Greece, and our collaborators Orestes Pavlou, Vicky Papadopoulou, and Andrea Sevstathiou from the European University Cyprus. So our task involves spectral energy distributions. They are important energy measurements for astronomical objects. Uh, the important thing is that their measurement process involves um, noise and interference, for example, from the atmosphere, which results in uh, incomplete or uh, even erroneous uh, samples. Uh, so uh, what we propose is to use uh, the to leverage the gener generalization capability of deep learning in order to automatically uh, enhance such samples. Uh, our approach is uh, a, th a three-step approach. We propose first to use a preprocessing step with computational, uh, some computational method, for example, PCA, in order to um, construct a sufficiently complete data set to use for deep learning. Next, to train a deep generative model to use it um, has been well known for solving inverse problems. And last, at test time, to uh, reconstruct the uh, samples efficiently using the information the generative model. We follow the classical formulation of a well-known and studied problem called compressed sensing, where we have uh, linear measurements, possibly noisy, and we're trying to reconstruct the underlying signal. This formulation models a lot of uh, interesting, realistic inverse problems. For our deep generative model, we use the Generative Latent Optimization Framework, or GLO. The goal is to train the network and optimize, along with it, the latent space using a simple reconstruction loss. So in order to impose even more structure into the latent space, we even project the latent codes onto the unit sphere. For the reconstruction part at test time, what we're trying to do is to estimate a good latent code that corresponds to our uh, estimate for the signal, which belongs uh, in the domain of the generative model. So more specifically, we want to uh, choose a latent code such that the corresponding signal uh, approximately agrees with the given measurements. In order to use the structure of the latent space, what we can do is either to uh, project the estimate of the latent code onto the unit sphere, as we did at train training time, or uh, we can uh, um, use more flexibility uh, by adding a regularization term that tries to imitate the same structure. For our experiments, we use the STSS corrected spectra dataset offered by AstroML library. Uh, this consists of uh, pre-processed samples with iterative PCA. It is important to notice that the, the original dataset consists of uh, uh, signals that are innately incomplete or noisy or both. So uh, for this problem, we, we lack the ground truth. Uh, so what we do is to compare our um, as estimates with the baseline, um, that is with the pre-processed signals. Uh, for the training, we have many important uh, choices uh, to make. Uh, we use uh, techniques such as uh, normalization to promote generalization and um, other details that I encourage you to look for in the paper. So let's take a look at some of our results. Here we see eight signals. At the top, we have a, a green window of missing information, whereas at the bottom, we have randomly selected missing measurements. Um, we can see here that our reconstruction closely follows the blue underlying signal. Here we see the reconstruction error for a set of randomly selected signals. On the left, we see the error for different percentages of missing information, and we compare the performance between test and training data. From this graph, we can infer that our network displays strong generalization capability, which is important for our task. Um, on the right, we see the reconstruction error for different levels of noise, and we compare between the two approaches to the reconstruction, this uh, projection or regularization. Um, we can see that the regularization flexibility can be useful for this problem. So thank you for your time.